this is so exciting, this is so exciting. The 400th anniversary of the first Folio Shakespeare printing has been coming at us for the last few years and I've been thinking of how we could do something to celebrate this and to my surprise actually managed to get all four of the Shakespeare folios of the 17th century and the other collected edition of works which is his poems and, and that really makes us having all five of the collected works of Shakespeare from the 17th century. Seven years after Shakespeare's death, in 1623, two of his friends and fellow actors decided to create a memorial for him by collecting together all of his plays into one volume. Uh, the volume contains 36 plays, half of which had never been published before. We call it the first folio because it's in the folio format, which is the grandest format that books were published in, suitable usually for Bibles or volumes of sermons, but here used for the first time for a collection of plays. Oh, you, you want the first folio. I mean, it's where, it's, where, it's where it all begins. This 17th century English author put into print, um, uh, you know, in a small print shop in the, the, near the Barbican in London, has become an absolutely global icon. It's, it's the most desirable book in the English language. The excitement of opening a first folio and reading it is to see all these famous words put into, into print together for the first time. To be or not to be, there's a special thrill in seeing it on the page. The opening of Macbeth with the, the three witches. When shall we three meet again? The great entrances of all the, uh, the major characters, Othello with his put up your bright swords, you know, these, these moments there uh, on the page have a, a resonance. It's as if we're reliving every Shakespeare we've ever seen. Oh wow, this is a World Heritage Site right here. Obviously these books have been crucially important to the development of English culture, but the, the spread of, of the English language uh, is pretty much uh, hand in hand with the spread of this book. The opportunity to acquire all four folios of the 17th century together with the poems, all of which, they are great copies, is so few and far between. It's the opportunity of a generation.